Behind closed doors meeting now between the embattled Speaker of the House and former President Trump, ABC White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins us now with more on that. Mary Alice, good morning. Yeah, Gio, good morning. With such a razor-thin majority and those threats from far-right members of his conference that he could be ousted from his job, Mike Johnson has seemed like a speaker barely holding on to the gavel. He needed a boost from former President Donald Trump, who lately has been dictating from afar how Republicans should vote on specific bills. Former President Donald Trump overnight giving embattled House Speaker Mike Johnson a boost, saying he has done a good job under tough circumstances. I stand with the Speaker. We've had a very good relationship. Weighing in on crucial votes in Washington, Trump has often undermined Johnson. But standing by Johnson now, Trump tamping down recent threats to oust Johnson from his job. Well, it's unfortunate that people bring it up because right now we have much bigger problems. The two men using the moment to elevate their key political issue, immigration. Johnson announcing new legislation requiring proof of citizenship to vote, although it is already illegal for non-citizens to vote in all federal elections. Johnson seeming to admit there has been no evidence of this type of fraud. We cannot wait for widespread fraud to occur, uh, to occur uh, especially when the threat of fraud is growing with every single illegal immigrant that crosses that border. Voting experts agree non-citizens do not risk the stiff penalties, like deportation, to vote illegally. And states already guard against this. This is an effort to create a solution where there is no problem. But that the impact of a law like this could make it much harder for qualified citizens to vote. Tens of millions of Americans don't have a passport or birth certificate available. Doesn't mean they're not citizens. It just means they're not jetting off to France for the summer. Now, a lot of states already check their voter rolls against lists that do check citizenship, like Social Security. Georgia looked into this matter in 2022. It found that in the last 25 years, about 1,600 potential cases of non-citizens trying to register to vote, but also found that none in the end were allowed to cast a ballot. Gio? All right, Mary Alice, thank you so much.